This video demonstrates how Visual Cut can export a Crystal report to PDF and embed within the PDF a bunch of other files. Here are the files embedded in this PDF. There's an Excel file as well as several other PDF files. And they are linked to from these icons. If I double click the icon for the pivot table, Excel will open and show a pivot table. If I double click one of the icons for drill down into the product types, I will see detailed information for that product type. And you can see that another PDF file was opened. Uh, this is an embedded PDF and it provides information or detail uh, for Mountain. You can embed other files within embedded PDF files. So this embedded PDF file has other links to detail information about the products within this product type. And if I double click Repel, I get another PDF with detail for Repel. And I can close that and drill up to the original report. Now this PDF acts as a container. All the files are embedded within it and I can email it as a single file. I can password protect it. I can even digitally sign it with Visual Cut. So let's dive into Crystal and see how this container PDF was created. It was created using three Crystal reports. The first report is at the top level and it contained within it tags, uh, basically formulas that tell Visual Cut to embed the file specified inside this tag at this location. Within that, at level two, there were a bunch of PDF files that were bursted from this single report using Visual Cut. So each product type becomes an individual PDF file. For example, competition looks like this. And within that file, there are again tags that indicate to Visual Cut that another PDF file should be embedded and linked from this location. Finally, at the lowest level, there are individual PDF files, one for each product, that were bursted from this single report. So there are 38 products here, and they each become a separate PDF file, dynamically named using Visual Cut, and those individual files get embedded at this level, and these PDF files get embedded into the final PDF. Here's the batch file that automates the whole process. It starts by bursting the lowest level report, which is grouped by product, and creating individually named PDF files, uh, one for each product. So at the end of this process, we get 38 PDF files. The second line also bursts the report, uh, we can see that here, and creates one PDF for each of the eight product types, and those individual PDF files are dynamically named based on the product type. It doesn't stop there, though. It takes each one of those resulting PDF files and processes them with this PDF link tags to argument, which says detect tags within that PDF and where those tags instruct you, insert an embedded file specified within that tag at that location and generate an icon as a link. Finally, the third command line argument processes the final top level report. It creates a PDF file in this case, uh, that PDF file is called Visual Cut PDF Embedded Drill Down Sample.pdf and detects again using this PDF link tags directive any tags within that. So at that point, it embeds the eight PDF files that were created by the previous round, as well as there's another tag there that embeds the Excel pivot table that was created by another process. Here's a zoomed in view of one of the tag formulas. This one is placed in the group header for each product type, and it specifies that a PDF, in this case sales for competition, uh, need to be embedded uh, at this location. The top left corner of the formula specifies also the location of the hotspot that's going to be created here. It's going to be a rec rectangle of dimensions 20 by 20, and an icon type, uh, zero means a pushpin icon, is going to be fitted into that rectangle. Also, this image, uh, which is just a yellow background, is going to be fitted into that 20 by 20 rectangle that's going to be created here. At the time where Visual Cut processes the PDF, it will detect that text, take care of the embedding and the creation of the icons and the link, and will also remove that text so that when the user looks at the PDF, uh, that text no longer shows up there. So back to the final PDF, here's the rectangular area with a background image, the yellow background, the icon, which is the pushpin, 
and the tooltip. As I drill down into one of these PDF files, for example, if I double click competition, we can see that I can drill down into that drill down, creating a multi-level drill down because this particular PDF has its own embedded PDF 